So the first thing we want to do is do the positive and the ground to the battery, which is right, right here on the Arduino Trigo is battery positive and ground. So I'm going to solder a red wire and a black wire. This wire is 22 AWG. I like solid core. It's a little bit more expensive. And then this solder I'm using is 6040 rosin core solder. And like I just said, red on battery positive and black on ground. Okay, so next we want to do a red line on the 5 volt here and then black line on one of these two grounds. Now we're going to set this aside and we're going to start wiring up this board. There are 16 pins but we don't use all of them. I'm going to solder on a white wire to pin 3 for the potentiometer. So now pin 1 goes to ground and pin 2 goes to positive so we're going to use black and red again. Throughout this project, black represents ground, red represents positive. And like I just said, red on pin 2, black on pin 1. Pin 15 gets a red wire and pin 16 gets a black. And we're going to do four blue wires for pins 11, 12, 13, and 14. Pin 5 should be a black wire, but I actually did a red wire. Pins 4 and 6 are both yellow. And that should be it for the LCD screen. When connecting the blue wires to the Arduino, pin 11 from the LCD goes to pin 3 on the Arduino, 12 to 4, 13 to 5, and 14 to 6. Good. And I'm connecting the yellow LCD pin 6 to Arduino pin number 8 and the yellow LCD pin number 4 to Arduino pin number 9. Alright, this white one goes to the piezo and all these black ones go to ground. All the red ones go to positive but we need to use a resistor on one of them. So the red LCD pin number 15 gets a 220 ohm resistor. Let's wire up the LED. Uh, the anode is positive, the cathode is negative. Red wire on the LED anode and black wire on the LED cathode. And the black LED wire gets a 220 ohm resistor as well. The white wire from the LCD goes to the middle pin on the potentiometer and a red and black on either side. Now we need to wire up the switch. So you just need a red wire on one post and a black wire on the other post. The black wire needs the fork, so I did a green, which will go to an Arduino pin, and a black to ground. And then added a 10,000 ohm resistor to the black. And soldered the green wire to the Arduino pin number 10. And now I'm just soldering all the black wires to the black wires and the red wires to the red wires. And now I need to install the LCD. And then I'm going to hot glue the LED into its little hole. Now I just need to wrap all the exposed solder joints with some electrical tape. And now I want to solder the Arduino 5 volt pin to the power switch and another red wire to the positive battery terminal. The red switch wire goes to the positive terminal and the Arduino ground pin goes to the negative terminal. Now what we need to do is program this Arduino, which I will do right now. Okay, I just got done programming the Arduino and I discovered that I made a few mistakes that I have corrected. First, this positive wire should be neutral. It is pin five. It should have been black and going to the neutral bundle here that I have here. The other mistake I made was on the trinket, these bottom pins 
are for the FTDI cable. I did not know that. So when I saw ground and a five volt, I assumed it was for regular power, but it's not. I had to power here. So five volt here and ground there. So now that I made those corrections, I can put this all together. So now if we turn the switch on, the LCD turns on, it gives it some time to boot up, it says push button to start, push the button, and when that green light turns on, you need to push the button to see how fast we are. Reaction time, 0.257 seconds. It'll clear to start again, see how fast I can go, 1.75. And just to explain how the programming works. You can push the button, but if you hold the button down, it'll detect that and assume that you're trying to cheat. And so it'll actually reset the game and give you this stop cheating message. And this light does not turn on at the same time. It's a random time between, I think, three and five seconds. And all this is in the code, which I will share the link to on my GitHub. So that's the reaction game I made. I have some more Arduino projects that I'm planning on making in the future. If you like this project, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Click here to watch part two of this project. Thank you for watching. Live free and DIY. Bye bye.